yourself in this man's place. Aboard a transcontinental plane, suddenly half the passengers, including your own son, are struck by a paralyzing deadly illness. And then in the midst of the panic and confusion, the stewardess tells you to come forward to the pilot's compartment. This is what you find, a pilotless plane running wild in a stormy sky. Can you fly this airplane and land it? No, not a chance. You're the only chance we've got. How could he fly a plane again after the horrible experience that had sapped his courage and ruined his life? But only he, among all the passengers, had any chance at all to save them, even though it was one in a thousand. This is Cross Canada Charter, flight, flight 714, in distress. Come in, anyone. I want you to get on a horn and talk this guy down. You'll have to talk him onto the approach. And so help me, you'll have to talk him right down to the ground. He's below 700 now, and he's still going down. Stryker, you can't come straight in. You've got enough fuel left for two hours flying. You've got to stay up there till we get a break in the weather. Listen, Trelevin, I'm coming in. Do you hear me? I'm coming in right now. In front of him, the bewildering array of instruments that blur before his frantic eyes. Beside him, the woman who had once loved him. And behind him, a plane load of frantic passengers. Ted, we're falling, Ted, we're falling! 